Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Have I got something really special for you today. These are braised beef short ribs. Absolutely delicious. Probably one of the best recipes I've made on this channel. I want to make them six or seven times a week. Absolutely delicious. So this is what a short rib is. So it's a beef short rib. If you just go to your butcher and ask them for them, this is what they look like. It's basically just a massive hunk of meat on a bone. It will take ages and ages to cook, but well worth it at the end. So to start this recipe off, we're going to get ourselves a baking tray. So you want to put this onto the hob, we want to get a nice bit of heat onto this tray. So the idea behind this is to get some nice beautiful colour on those ribs. Because we're going to be braising the ribs, you won't be able to add any colour at any other point other than this. So it's really important you don't stick, skip this step. Lay them bad boys down, you'll see the smoke went off them straight away. That's what we're after. Remember, colour is flavour. Because we cook these beef ribs for so long, there's so many flavours that get interpreted into it. So this nice bit of burnt stuff at the bottom of the pan, we're just going to deglaze that soon and all that flavour will go back into the gravy. So once you've done your beef ribs, what we want to do now is just chop up some ingredients to go in there. So I've got one large white onion. Slice that, being careful not to chop your fingers off. Then I've got a couple of big mushrooms. Cut these quite thick. And then a whole bulb of garlic, we're just going to cut that in half. Now don't worry about the ingredients we're putting in here, because we are going to pass this through a sieve later on to get all this out. We're just going to put it in there just to impart the flavour. So pop your garlic back into your pan. Add your onions and your mushrooms. And what we're going to do is just cut those off for a couple of minutes, just to make them you know, start to soften and just get a little bit of colour. Once they've had a couple of minutes of frying, we're going to add some fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme, just a sprig of each. Again, it's just there for flavour. Then about a tablespoon of tomato paste is going to go in there. Really important that you fry this tomato paste off for a little bit. It's called cooking it out. You don't want the raw flavour of tomato in there. So just cook it for a couple of minutes and the change, the change in the flavour is absolutely phenomenal. Now we're going to indulge ourselves, we want to add a whole bottle of red wine. Now it doesn't have to be an expensive bottle of wine, it can be a cheap one. Just make sure it's a wine that you obviously like the taste of. But we're going to have the old bottle in there. Don't worry, the alcohol will be getting cooked off. So the idea here is what we want to do is reduce this down by half. We're just going to add a little bit of seasoning, some pepper and some salt. And then we're literally just going to leave that to bubble away. Like I say, we want this wine to obviously A, cook off the alcohol and B, reduced by half to give you a really rich gravy at the end. Give that a good stir together. Oh, look at that. The smell that's coming from this is absolutely delicious. So once that's reduced by half, we're just going to make a little bit of room and we're going to put our ribs in. So put your ribs in bone side down. Once your ribs are all in, what I do is just give them a little bit of baste with that red wine gravy, just so that the flavours really started to impart over the top. And then what we want to do is get a really good quality beef stock. Now you want to put some beef stock in there, I use about, I think it's about half a litre. Basically you just want to cover the bone and let the water just sit just underneath the meat. The smells, honestly. If there was smell of vision you would absolutely love this. So because it's going in the oven now for three hours, which is a long time, we don't want it to burn on the top. So we're going to put some nice foil over the top and just create a nice foil parcel. So that will go into the oven three hours at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. After three hours, just take it out and it will re reveal this absolutely beautiful deliciousness. So this beef at this point here is pretty much cooked, but it will take about another hour just to finish this recipe off. That meat now, if you press it, it will literally fall off the bone. So what you want to try and do is reserve it on the bone for presentation at the end. So what we're doing here is we're taking the beef ribs out because we want to make a start on this gravy. So the gravy is going to have a big layer of oil on the top, which obviously we need to get rid of. So we pass the mixture through a sieve. And then you're left with your beef ribs and your gravy. So like I say, you have got a really big layer of oil on your gravy. What you want to do is just let that settle, get a spoon and just skim the oil off the top. A 
look at that. Absolutely delicious. That's the best gravy in the world. Be ideal for your Sunday dinner as well. So what we're going to do now is just put our beef ribs back in there. They're going to go back into the same heated oven for another hour. Just pour that liquid over the top. If you like a really thick gravy, now there's no nothing wrong at all with cheating. I'm probably just adding, I don't know, a teaspoon of gravy granules or some form of thickener into there. But you shouldn't need it if you leave it uncovered. It will reduce right down and go nice and thick and beautiful. So after another hour, they are absolutely perfectly done. I just served mine up with some mashed potato. And there you go, guys. Beef braised ribs. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become part of the family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.